EC in Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Rob Clayton. Well, the last 48 hours we've noticed that the Australian dollar for the first part of it was bullish and it broke through 76.05.15 up towards 76.60. Now, in the last 24 hours, we've seen no further advance except for peaking from 76.96.95 and now dropping away, currently trading at 76.60. With the intraday outlook coming into a slightly weaker bias, I'm looking for a move now towards the support of 76.45 and lower down towards 76.05.10. A break beneath there would expose further weakness towards 75.45.55, with a cap still holding around 90.95. The euro, although it was very bullish in the last 48 hours, the last 12 hours, the market has actually been a bit subdued and now back, back, backing away from the resistance currently holding around 112.9505. You can see here that any advances towards it's as high as 113.6065 will be a, a, a struggle. And if it's anything to go by, if the intraday outlook is correct, then we should see a break of 112.10 and look towards 111.4550. Beneath here will give further scope towards 110.50.65, which is the favoured um, view I have at the moment after the failed upside attempt. Dollar yen, well, this is an interesting story. After the strong bull trend up to a high of 104.30, now drops away and heavily uh, was challenged very heavily to the, to the downside. However, do note that we are holding above the support at one roughly around about 101.2025 and this is an important level as while this level holds we could see a move back to the upside now it would need to clear 102.6070 to get that move back up further towards 104 to 106 however in the next 12 to 24 hours if we don't get that break to the upside and we see a move sub 101.25 and this will expose further weakness down towards 160.65 with an objective back towards the lows around 99.40.60. But do know under 100 could again see the BOJ return and actually stage another recovery. So very tricky at the moment, but the dailies are actually in support of a further move down. So 101.25 will be the key to the downside. Or sterling for the bulls. They took casualties overnight after backing away from that 134.50-60 uh, resistance and now looking towards a support from the break of 133.60 overnight to 132.80.85. This could give further scope towards the support now holding around 132.10.15, which is, you can see, roughly around here. In light of the, this move up, we are breaking down. I still can't rule out another challenge to the upside, but I would say that it may fail again. But while these indicators are still very heavy, it does look towards that support. So on the day, a 133.10 to 65 range, but I still expect to see weakness, which could see towards 132.80 to 132.10. Well, the gold story. After its bullish rally from uh, 1,300, now backs away from that resistance of 1,352. And in light of the current weakness coming through here, could actually see a break to the downside, <clears throat> sub 1,338. Now, if we get a break of 38, that would expose further weakness towards 1,330 and down towards 1,322.20. 20. Any advances above 52 will be an opportunity for the market to short because I believe that uh, above here and towards this congestion area around 58 would again find supply and could see a bull trap and catch the market off guard and then see a further uh, challenge down. And to finish off with oil, well, we're now challenging this level of 46 and a half after being heavily contested before, failed. It is a key level, as you can see here. A break of 46.5 will give further exposure towards the upside, but resistance now comes in quite firmly around uh, $49 to $50. In light of the current price action over the last 12 hours, we could see the move up 
but I feel it might fail again and then get a, another downturn and look towards 46 to so around about 46 figure 10 as an objective. Sorry, a bit lower than that. Try, <laughs> not 46, try $44. So um, that's pretty much where this level, where these peaks and troughs come in. So away from 46 and a half and then back down to 44, which is eventually we'll probably find will happen. Well, that's a wrap for the day. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoy the day ahead.